Welcome to the Santa Monica Beat, sponsored by Diamond Foam and Fabric. I'm Julie Garcia. Due to the recent tragedy in Aurora, Colorado, AMC Theaters is taking extra precautions to keep moviegoers safe. The Beat's Spencer Lee has the story. Heading into the weekend, the only news in show business was going to be whether or not the new Batman film, The Dark Knight Rises, would become the biggest box office smash of all time. Instead, early Friday morning became unforgettable in the darkest way possible. After the horrific shooting in Colorado, the Santa Monica Police Department is keeping an eye out for potential copycats. Although it's a highly tragic event, what happened in Colorado, for the Santa Monica Police Department, we're going to operate in the same manner, but we do have a heightened focus. We've stepped up our patrols at all of our theaters. Uh, officers are always on the Third Street Promenade, where most of our theaters are located and uh, we do have extra patrols there now. There are three AMC theaters in the city and Friday afternoon AMC released an official statement banning all costumes and weapons from their theaters. After speaking with a worker at one of the locations the theater will refuse service to anybody who violates these new policies. This procedure may be small considering the circumstances but in the aftermath it is a step towards returning the movies to its sacred normalcy. Reporting for the Santa Monica Beat, I'm Spencer Lee. Thank you, Spencer. And now, here's a tip on how to keep your bones healthy in Dr. Stuart Garber's Did You Know? Hi, I'm Dr. Stuart Garber. Did you know that almost 30 million Americans either have or are at risk for osteoporosis? Achieving optimum bone health is easy if you follow a few simple steps. Eat lots of green leafy vegetables and foods rich in vitamin D. Exposure to sunlight helps your body make its own vitamin D. And weight bearing and resistance exercises are essential to building strong bones. I'm Dr. Stuart Garber, and this has been your weekly health tip. The 2012 Ford Focus brings us this week's mix, where there's a new production at the Odyssey Theater. The Beats of Vija Shea got an early preview. Opening on the Odyssey stage this weekend is Mutually Assured Destruction, a play about couples written and directed by a couple. Peter Lethcourt and Terry Hanauer have each won awards in their own fields, but now they're bringing their work home for a new collaboration. We find ourselves brushing our teeth at night, talking about the play. We don't have a regular life. During this particularly intense period of rehearsals, the play entirely just takes everything over. Every now and then we look at each other and we say, is there anything else in our existence besides this play? Peter gives 100%, I give 100%, and we want to do justice to the play, to each other, to the actors, to everything. We spur each other on in that way. Yeah. Theater is the dessert of life. You yeah. know, nobody's making any money. We are doing this for pure love and the idea of doing something that's exceptional and special. The love between Terry and Peter over the past 15 years of marriage has spilled over into their work. And this play is only their fourth project together, but it certainly won't be their last. For the Santa Monica Beat, I'm Avija Shea. Thank you, Avija. In the community this week, three different city boards have open seats in the upcoming election, and candidates are now allowed to apply. As of last Monday, anyone interested in being on the ballot in November can meet with the city clerk to fill out the necessary paperwork. The city council as well as rent control and school boards have vacancies, but those who want to run need to be registered in the city and get signatures from 100 other registered voters. The city government, it's probably one of the most open and transparent governments that I have experienced with. The citizenry is very involved in its government and what it does. And I think that's, there's a great sense of accomplishment the for people that really participate in government. being leaders of the government. Potential candidates have until August 10th to register. The election will be held on November 6th. The... And also in the community, the Montana Avenue Street Fair featured a program that reaches out to kids from all over the world. For three years, a nonprofit has provided opportunities to less fortunate children around the world as part of a movement called The World is Just a Book Away. We started in Indonesia. It's the ring of fire there, you know, volcanoes, earthquakes, mud flow disasters, and the kids really have nothing. Our first program is a photography program. They'd never seen a camera, so they learned from what a role of film is to how to put it in the camera to start taking pictures of their worlds. What's really great is we have their photographs physically here at the Montana Avenue Art Walk and so that you can see them and purchase the photographs for yourself and make a real difference because 100% of the proceeds goes back to the charity. We build these libraries for children who have no access to books. They don't know about the pyramids and they don't know about the stars and they don't know about dinosaurs. We built 22 libraries our first year in Indonesia. We have about 50 now for 27,000 kids. The organization has plans to continue their efforts in Mexico and India in the near future.
And that's our show. We'll be back next Monday at 9 a.m. And be sure to watch Marley Mendoza in the Seven Day Show on Thursday. She'll tell you all the details about the Indigo Go Go event at Bergamot Station. Until next time, I'm Julie Garcia for the Santa Monica Beats, brought to you by Diamond Foam and Fabric. <laughs>